Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for today's video. I am going to create this look for New Year's Eve using some of my favorites from 2019. And this video is in collaboration with Erin Nicole TV. She reached out to me asking if I wanted to collab with her and I've never, never done that before. So I was quite, quite excited. She's the sweetest person. Her channel is very nice. It's focused on luxury high-end makeup and then if you scroll down her instagram it's so colorful it's so happy like she's a happy soul so if you haven't watched her channel or visited her channel or her instagram before i encourage you to do so and i'm excited to see her favorites of 2019 and see what kind of looks she comes out with if you're new to my channel welcome my name is joanna if you want to see how to create this look and see what are some of my favorites from 2019 please keep on watching if you haven't already subscribed to my channel you can also follow me on instagram don't forget to click the little bell right here next to the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new uploads thank you so much and without any further ado let's get ready all right so for new year's eve i'm thinking glitters a smoky eye and a nude lip this is my favorite look for new year's eve a nice glowy skin and a little bit bronzed festive because i live in alberta it's really dry it's cold we don't see much sun to be honest so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna prep my skin first so i'm gonna use my rodial dragon's blood essence mist I've been loving, loving that mist. I use it to prep my skin, I use it to refresh my skin within the day or to set my makeup because the mist is so fine. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of that. Try not to get it in your hair if you're just on your hair. My hair is curly so I just blow dried it and I put a little pin here so I keep a little bit of volume and instantly like my skin feels like refreshed and ready to absorb all the moisture. My favorite serum of the year is the Clarins Double Serum. This makes my skin feel so good, so hydrated. It smells very nice. Clarins products usually smell really nice, like it's very delicate, it's not overwhelming. This is a complete age control concentrate, so even better, you know? After 30 years old, you can start to see little wrinkles. It's never too soon to start. So I'm putting two pumps and I'm going to apply it to my skin. So we're gonna do something quite smoky. I used a palette before and there was no fallout, but if you're scared of fallout, you can definitely start with the eyes and then do your skin. It's just I'm so used to do my skin before just because I like to see the base, you know, the canvas and then complete with the eyes. Some people like to do the opposite. So it's totally up to you and to uh, the products you're going to use. If your eyeshadows tend to uh, give you some fallout, definitely start with your eyes. For my base, because it's really dry right now, I'm gonna use my Tatcha, the Dewy Skin Cream. I love that cream too. This is ultra hydrating, it's anti-aging. Your skin feels very bouncy when you put that on and it's a very nice primer too. It's hard to pick only one product, <laughs> guys. You know, when you test so many products within a year and uh, I just picked up whatever I reached for the most, but I have so many more favorites, you know, or things I, I've been enjoying or depending on the season too, you know, like obviously in summertime or spring, I like uh, pastel colors or warm colors. In the winter, and I tend to lean like towards neutral cool tones. So it really depends. For eye cream, if you know my channel and you, you've been watching my videos this year, you know that my favorite cream of the year is the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. This is so good. This is hydrating. It is light but thick enough to feel like you put a barrier, you know, between your skin and uh, the cold weather i just really enjoyed that and it looks good under concealer too curious to see what erin nicole's tv favorite products are going to be i have an idea i watch her favorites like her 2019 favorite video but i'm just curious to see for skincare because obviously when you live in 
Miami, Florida. The weather is hot, it's humid, so a total different uh, environment. Plus, I think it's good for you guys because I am dry to normal and I believe she has combo skin. Correct me if I'm wrong, Erin, but so that would be interesting for you guys to see what products we're using. Then for an extra glow, I'm gonna use the Shell Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. And I have the shade 2 Light, or Claire for my French friends. Love when I want extra glow on my cheekbones, a little bit of the, the bridge on my nose, Cupid's bow. You can also put it all over your face too. On days I'm not putting a ton of makeup, especially in summer. I've been loving just putting this all over your face, but like for today, I'm just gonna put it right there. A little bit of redness, and I'm just going to buff that right here. You can also put it on top of your foundation. You'll see, like it gives you that beautiful, beautiful base. So we have a nice uh, glowy hydrated base for foundation. So many foundations have been released this year. So it was really hard to pick one. I've been using tons, both the Charles Silbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation and the Pat McGrath Labs Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. So much that I had to buy a lighter shade for this winter. This one is a bit lighter, I would say, in coverage. This one has a very full coverage. So because it's New Year's Eve, you're gonna kiss people, you know, on the cheeks, things like that. I think I'll go with the Airbrush Flawless Foundation just because I have a feeling it's a tiny bit more long wearing. So let's say you get ready for your party around it depends, people sometimes have dinner very early. Uh, you get ready around 4 p.m. You know, by the time you do all the rest, you get dressed, you drive to the venue or your friend's place, or while well, you get ready here, like, you know, hosting, preparing food and everything, uh, you wanna make sure that it's not moving. So I'm gonna use the Shell Tilbury one. And I'm in the shade 6 Neutral. Well, I bought this during summertime, so it's a tiny bit dark, but my arms are always darker than my face. And right now, for my outfit, I'm just wearing like a jumper, a black jumper that is quite low here in the décolleté, and then I have a little necklace here uh, that I put. So it's basically, the neck has to be a tiny bit covered, maybe. Worst case scenario, we'll go a bit down. And, uh, oh, worst case scenario, I love to mix my foundations too. I don't know about you, but I love to do that. Of course, like, you know, picking your favorite foundation, it depends on your uh, skin type too. For me, since I'm dry to normal, I need something that is hydrating. I like a little bit of coverage. On days, it depends on the event too. For every day, I like a light base. Sometimes I just uh, uh, get away with a little bit of concealer and spot concealing. And on this, I'm taking photos, I'm well, obviously filming, or I have an event, I like to have a tiny bit more coverage, but I like it to look like skin still. I don't, I don't like the matte look. The Charlotte Tilbury is great for that. So you can apply it with your fingers, it's nice too, but I like to use a brush. And my favorite foundation brush of the year has been that Sonia Kashuk one. It's really nice. Uh, kabuki brush style and very dense. One palm gives you a lot of coverage. So I'm gonna do this, this, and hopefully it's not too dark because I'm really pale right now. Duke. And I'm gonna show you the coverage. What I like with that foundation also is you can layer on. Don't forget your ears, especially if you put your hair up, you know, in a chignon or something, because there's nothing worse than having your foundation, like especially if it's a full coverage one, all over your face, and then you have uh, red ears. That's not super pretty, especially on photos. Everybody can see it. But see, like it gives you that beautiful coverage, but the skin still looks like skin. All right, foundation is on. I went down a tiny bit on my neck, not too much, but lightly. What I like to do when I go down my neck, I like to take a little bit of my uh, day cream and mix it with it so it's nice and it doesn't, you know, 
you don't pull out on the skin too much. Something I've been talking a lot and I'll be talking about it in another video I'll post after that one. It will be like a easy everyday glam look with some of my favorite products of 2019. This is the Tarte CC Under Eye Corrector. I'm in the shade Light Medium and I've been loving loving this thing. It is brightening and the shade is so nice. Sometimes I don't even need to put on concealer and you don't need much. My Shell Tilbury one is nice too. It's a tiny bit thicker and darker so you definitely have to put uh, concealer on top. So make sure my lid, why not? But see the difference? It's so brightening. Love that product. They need more shades, definitely. I think right now they only have two. For concealer, a lot of concealers, once again, that I love. The NARS uh, Radiant Creamy Concealer, the um, Shiseido one, the self-refreshing concealer is really nice too. Giorgio Armani Power Fabric, really good. I, in concealer, I like a bit of coverage. I like it to be brightening and I don't like it to be dry. So it's uh, usually if I find one that has a nice coverage but it's a tiny bit uh, drying, I like to mix it with another one. One that I've been really enjoying this year and it was a good surprise was the Marc Jacobs Accomplice Concealer. I have a shade Light 20. First of all, the packaging is beautiful. And on top of that, I find uh, that stick, that concealer. Usually it's hard for me to find a... A concealer in a stick uh, formula that is not drying but this one has a very nice coverage and it stays put all day it doesn't move see and it has that brightening effect that I love especially when I do a full glam look and I finish on the lid and if you don't want your concealer to crease on the lid just just a little bit of loose powder over it and it should do the trick. Then I like to put it at some strategic points where I like to sculpt, brighten a tiny bit. So a little bit the center of my nose here. I'm not gonna go all along my nose because um, my nose is quite long so I don't wanna exaggerate that more. But just right here, the bridge of the nose. Try to do a straight line if you have a bit of a crooked nose. Oh, try to fix it and I like to put it under right here especially in winter here because it gets cold and you can have a runny nose or a little bit of a cold and usually you can get a little bit red just press with your finger I like to use my finger because uh, with the warmth of my skin it just melts into my foundation and my base a little bit on the chin tiny bit and in the center it looks good it doesn't crease too much i find so i really like that concealer sometimes i do my eyes and then i find that i need even more concealer so i will do something maybe at the end just to add a little bit more brightness but right now i really like the skin and that foundation in particular i love because um, within a few hours it really melts onto your skin and it becomes one like you don't have a feeling you're wearing anything on top of it you can see right now already like that it looks quite good another tip for a party where you think that people are going to take lots of photos photos with flash make sure that your foundation doesn't flash back so usually do a little test before a day before or two days before picking your your foundation for any kind of event and uh, do the flash test with your camera it really helps i know a lot of you know that already but just in case it's a good tip to set my makeup, I like to use either a loose powder uh, under my eyes, but because we might add a little bit more concealer at the end, I'm not going to do that right away. So I really love the hourglass powders just to set but keep the luminosity that I like. The Hourglass Ambient Lighting Addict Ghost Palette has a very nice bright powder here, which is the finishing powder in the shade Diffused Light. You can buy it just in a single version too. The two ghost palettes of this holiday collection, I've been using them a, a ton. It's been later this year, sure. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that powder here, mainly, and then I brush like this. 
and I'm just going to dust it very lightly with a big fluffy brush all over the face and if you can see it's like dimming a tiny bit the shine if I can say that <laughs> minimizing the shine but still you have a luminous skin but it doesn't look too oily and because within the hours like everything's gonna sink in together it's gonna shine a bit more again so I just like to put it all over and it has a little bit of a blurring effect too which is really nice don't forget the neck and the ears and we'll take care of the under eye area a little bit later for bronzer I'm gonna talk about this one again in my other video just because it has been the bronzer that I've been using the most this year talking about powder bronzer uh, for a cream bronzer the Tom Ford shade and illuminate is really good in a shade uh, 01 the milk makeup is really good too in a shade baked and the Huda Beauty Tan Tour has been a really really good uh, friend too but because right now we powdered a little bit I'm gonna use my Bare Minerals bronzer in the shade Faux Tan uh, since I bought that one I bought two, the two shades I, have. I bought Warmth for the summer and Faux Tan I bought it in the spring I believe and I've been loving loving this bronzer I think it's the perfect shade for me it has a little bit of a cool tone so you can contour with it if you want but at the same time you can use it just as a bronzer it works great yeah I've been loving loving this bronzer so let's go for it you see that perfect color and you can layer on if you want a bit more uh, intensity of course you go on your forehead with it and then what I like to do under my nose and a tiny bit right here to give it illusion that I have a little a cute little nose kissing the sky you know I don't do much for contouring the nose because it's quite thin already but it's just right here I like to give it a little uh, illusion and then with a cream bronzer usually I like to go under the lip let's try with a powder and it just makes your lip look a bit more pouty. I don't really like to go over because it looks like I drink too much hot chocolate. <laughs> but this is a nice little trick right here. And on days I don't wear much, I use my bronzer in the crease too. For blush, lots of blushes this year. The Buxom Wonderlust Primer Infused Blush I think has been uh, the highlight of the year. I really like the Ghost Palette too. And also the Patrick Ta blushes surprised me. I was not expecting like, to like them that much. I'm gonna start with She's Sincere. And if I feel like I need more color at the end, maybe I'll go with another one. So this is how She's Sincere looks like. It has a nice illuminating power and it's a beautiful peachy nude. And the packaging is delightful. So nice. And what I like about that blush too, it has that blurring effect. It's so cute. Really like that. Oop. A little bit on the nose. For highlighter. So in my next video, you'll see I'll use one that I've been using most of this summer and this fall. One that I've been loving is the YSL Les Ariennes Bronzing Stone. It's kind of gross right now. All these reflecting the packaging, they're beautiful, but they're not easy to keep clean. So this is Lisa Ariane Bronzing Stones. I think it was limited edition, but I've been loving, loving this one. The Charlotte Tilbury one, the Bar of Gold, I've been loving too. Similar finish, and it's the perfect shade for me right now. Look at that. This looks wet on a chick. It doesn't look metallic at all. I don't have a cast, so that's the perfect shade for me right now. I just love it. I like to use it also on my nose, in between my eyes. This is a Wayne Goss 02 brush. It's really nice for highlighter. 
just right here. Once again, I'm not going to go all along the nose, but I like to go in between the eyes and the cupid's bow. And I finish right here. And why not? If you're wearing a chignon, you can put it on your ear right there. And it's a cute little detail. And if you're wearing something décolleté, you can put it on your clavicle and collarbone. So the skin is prepped. What I like to do, I like to mist once again. The Morphe one is really good too. Um, but this one I love just because of its uh, hydrating properties. Can you believe I live in Alberta in that dry weather? For my eyebrows, my favorite brow product of the year has been the MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint in the shade Taupe. So it's a double-ended product. You have on this side that little pen just to draw your feathery brows, you know? And if you need to fill in, if you have like some sparse, you know, issues here, uh, on the other side, you just twist it and you have a little spongy applicator with some product on it. You just have to, every time, like do this, like to collect more tint. So what I like to do, I like to comb my eyebrows. You can comb them down too if you really need to fill the space. And then let's take a little mirror here. So I like to fill in first. so and this one I have to make it look a bit more even here but not perfect and I brush them again and then I use the other side and I fill the blank with it for a brow gel I like to use the benefit 24-hour brow setter this is one of my favorites. I have several, but this one is really good. It really keeps your eyebrows up. The hourglass is really nice too. The milk makeup one is nice. Well, now I think we can start on the eyes. My favorite eyeshadow primer has been the NARS Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. They have three shades, I believe, and I'm in the shade medium. It's a really nice one, and I like the medium one because it looks like my um, my skin color. Now, if, if you want something lighter, obviously, you can go with the fair one or the light, and then the darker one, if you're doing a smoky eye, actually, it could work great too. So this, as you can see, like it's not too light, which I really like. And then I just use my Bobbi Brown full coverage touch up brush. And I like it because it cancels the little veins. It makes your lid look nice and clean. So on days you don't want you don't want to wear any eyeshadows, you can just wear this with a little bit of a clear powder on top. And you're good to go. Voilà. I like to let it sit a little bit to make sure it's not too tacky because if you don't wait long enough for any kind of eyeshadow primer, I believe, it might lead to a little bit of patchiness. So it happened to me before. For eyeshadow palettes, it's been tricky to pick one or two just because I'm like, okay, it's New Year's Eve and I can't stop thinking about either Pat McGrath Labs with their Blitz Astral shades or VR shades or the Tati Beauty Texture Neutral eyeshadow palette. So two price range here, Tati Beauty is more affordable than Pat McGrath Labs. But recently my sister-in-law like asked me to do her makeup for a bunch of galas and I did my niece makeup too. And I kept reaching for the Tati Beauty Texture Neutral Eyeshadow Palette Volume 1 because you have everything you need for a holiday makeup look or a New Year's Eve makeup look with those uh, uh, pressed glitters on the top, the metallics, the sequin eyeshadows. I have been debating, like, you know, which palette is my favorite. From Pat McGrath Labs this year, well, the new one uh, was Divine Rose. It's a beautiful eyeshadow palette, I love it. 
but not necessarily to create a New Year's Eve eye look. But I love the quads, uh, so I was thinking mixing like the divine rose with the ritualistic rose, but still it was too soft. It didn't give me the New Year's Eve vibe. Camera keeps cutting me. I was saying the iconic illumination from the Blitz Astral Quads, like it's beautiful too. But honestly, I've been reaching for this palette during the entire month of December. So we're gonna do that and I think I'm gonna stick to these shades but I might mix the glitters like the black one with maybe this one from Suze. We're gonna see. It's such a pretty palette. I know it's annoying that you can't get it right away. She's working on it. Hopefully we'll be back for January. It's too pretty so we're gonna do that. I think my my primer should be set, but in case it's not, what I like to do, I like to take the shade Aura, the matte, and I place it very lightly, I dust it all over the lid, just to make sure that I don't have any tackiness. I'm gonna start with the shade Soothe Matte, great transition shade. I'm using a Sonia G Blender Pro brush. Sony G, Wayne Goss have been a big revelation for me for brushes this year. Just the quality is uh, undeniable. Look at that, it's blending super easily. It's very pigmented, those shadows are ultra pigmented. She did a really good job. So I'm just placing this in uh, the outer corner mostly and uh, I finish in the crease. Then I'm taking a MAC 217 and I'm gonna go into the shade Ritual, the matte one. Very lightly first because this is very pigmented. And I'm gonna dust it all over the lid and into the crease, meaning that smooth shade. So any brown eyeshadow, you know, any colors that you have at home that are similar, of course, you can replicate. So when you find you have enough coverage, you go with a bigger brush. This is a Wayne Goss number 16. Same shade, Ritual. I'm just gonna go and place it in the crease. Make sure the transition is nice. Then I'm taking a Sonia G Crease Pro brush and I'm going to go to the shade Memory, still the matte one. Just beautiful black eyeshadow, very pigmented. And I'm going to place it in the outer corner first. And finish in the crease with it. And then when you want something really blending, like I mix Soothe with a tiny bit of a black again. Then I'm gonna work it in the crease. Picking up, picking up Soothe again. Just working it in the outer edge. And taking my big fluffy brush again just a blending All right when you intensified enough with a black you can stop and then I'm gonna add a tiny bit of concealer just a smidge with my finger make sure your finger is clean and I'm just going to brighten again a tiny bit if you want, you can clean up a little bit here, but since I'm going to bring it down, I don't need to. And I'm going to set it with a little bit of Aura, actually, because it's nice and brightening. And it doesn't have a cakey finish. I've done that multiple times already. Then I'm going to go back to our first shade, Soothe, and I'm going to place it all along the lower lash line and this is a Sonia G pencil pro brush if you want something sultry yeah 
you can go and intensify the lower lash line. I like to do that. Then I'm going to go to Rich Roll, the brown one. And finally, Memory, the black one, very lightly. And I'm going to insist in the outer edge. Leave it on top too. And as we can see, I have zero fallout. As long as you tap your brush. Okay, and then I'm taking a clean brush and I'm just blending everything. I'm gonna do the inner corner very quickly. And for this, I'm going to use the shade Aura in the metallic finish. This is a beautiful inner corner highlight. You can also use your highlighter if you don't have it this shade like or something similar use your highlighter in the inner corner okay and then on to the fun part so i think i want to mix some i think i want to mix the glitter for the memory glitter the black one either with ritual glitter or soothe I don't know, I think I might mix those two first and we'll see if I add Soothe. What I like about this pressed glitter is it doesn't, it has no fallout. Now you have to be careful, of course, they're not meant to be in your eyes, so don't go too close to your eyeball with it. Just be careful. And what I like to do, I like to use my finger. You can tap your finger too. And press. Pull, press and pull. And that thing stays put. As long as you don't remove it, as long as you don't use any makeup remover, it stays. So I'm doing a thin layer first. Look at that. It's not screaming New Year's Eve for you. I had to, I had to guys, okay? And uh, not the second one. And once again, no fallout. Ah, so pretty. Look at that, it's so, so pretty. You don't have to mix them if you just want the memory shade as a glitter. Look at that, so nice. But I really want to mix a ritual to it a little bit, this one. And I'm barely tapping my finger, barely. And I'm going to press that on top. I like them mixed together. I really like that. Okay. A little bit of fire and ice together. Oh, I love that. Tell me this is not screaming New Year's Eve to you. I could not resist. I could not. Okay, and I think I'm gonna leave the palette alone. I've been really, really impressed with the NARS High Pigment Longwear Highliner. This one is the black one, and the black one's name is Via Veneto. So I like to go under my upper lashes with it and a tight line and it makes your lash line looks thicker and I'm going to use it in my waterline too. You could use a dark brown that would be pretty but for New Year's Eve I really want my eyes to pop. Look at that how easy it is. Boom. Okay, I'm gonna curl my lashes and for mascara, I'm going to use my Tom Ford Badass Mascara, um, Badass Black. So this one's really nice. It's very expensive too. Um, you can find a ton of good mascaras. The Milk Makeup Quish Mascara is really good. The Tarte Big Ego Mascara is really good. But I'm gonna use this one for New Year's Eve. And you could absolutely put lashes on. Uh, I'm not a big false lashes person. Uh, I have some that I love. The new Shell Tilbury ones are 
really good, very easy to apply. But yeah, I'm just gonna use mascara. So I'll be right back with the eye look finished. All right, and the eyes are done, love them. Just have the lips and we're good to go. So one of my favorite lip liners this uh, this year has been the Pat McGrath Labs Permagel Ultra Lip Pencil in the shade Contour. So good to mimic, uh, you know, a natural uh, contour for your lip. Really like it. So I'm just gonna use that quickly. Look at that, it glides on the lips like so easily. I'm just going to fill the corners. Like so, just to give it a little bit of volume. If you're on the Angelina Jolie pout, a little bit here. All right. And then the favorite lipstick formula of the year is the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude. And I'm going to use the shade Natasha today. The Lisa Eldridge um, lipsticks have been uh, really, really nice too, but I need something a tiny bit more light for today. And they're so creamy. And I actually asked my husband to get me some for Christmas. So I have more shades to try. But that is Natasha and that's for me a perfect nude. There you go. Festive, chic, glam, sparkly, New Year's Eve. The skin, glowy, bronzed, and a pouty lip, matte, a soft matte, I would say, and nothing too bright because since the eyes are quite intense, I want the show to be focused on the eyes and not the lips. Then I just have to curl my hair if I want to. I usually like my hair down, but it's up to you. And we are ready for the countdown. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to click the little bell right here so you don't miss out on any new uploads. Let me know what you want to see next. I hope everyone had a beautiful, wonderful Christmas and you are going to have a blast at your New Year's Eve party. And if, if you don't party, that's fine. I'm not sure I'm gonna have. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm gonna go to a party this year. But just you know, have fun. Have some resolutions. Let me know down below. Actually, what are your resolutions for 2020? And uh, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Have a good one, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.